if any, by the way, I'm Zimbabwean by birth. Um, if anybody ever wondered why we would appoint a firecracker like Nancy to our board, you've just seen why. It is a tribute to you, Nancy, what you've achieved through Crisis Text Line and, and through that, all of the startups before that, because they make a difference, a huge difference in the lives of women and children around the world. So a huge thanks to the Foreign Policy Association for this honor that I'm, I'm really receiving on behalf of, of 5,000 colleagues. Um, and it's a very special night for me in, in many, many ways to do that and to have the chance to share this with you because with those colleagues, we've got a, a fabulous and incredible opportunity and a mission, which is to unlock the potential of every learner. And we think that using software in education, we've got the way to do it. And a part of that is through harnessing technology, together with great teachers, together with the whole infrastructure of pedagogy and content that's required to deliver great outcomes. And a part of that also involves celebrating great educators and role models. And just as I say that, it strikes me that I'm really honored to be on a list which included John Chambers, who eight years ago hosted my entire then management team at a meeting at Cisco and in two and a half hours completely led to the rebuilding of a company. So John, I salute you personally and I feel incredibly flattered to be following you further. But in that moment, in that process, we have chosen a path which says we can make a difference. A month ago, we celebrated three great educational leaders. We celebrated a woman called Sakina Yakubi who won the McGraw Prize, and she has been leading the education of Afghan women and children in the most difficult of circumstances, and it was a privilege on our part to be able to support her. We celebrated Anant Agarwal, who's been creating edX, and it coincided with a launch that we've done with edX and Arizona State University, of the world's first free freshman year of university, where we provide the courseware adaptive software. ASU provide the infrastructure, the teaching, and crucially, proctor the exams. And people only pay if they pass. And it's a wonderful way of opening education. And third, we had a wonderful encounter with Alberto Carvalho, the superintendent from Miami-Dade who leads a massive urban district in transition. We have an incredible privilege at McGraw-Hill Education in working with incredible educators who are making a difference. CSR sometimes can, in some companies, means kind of throw it over the wall, have somebody else do it. For us, it's got to be central to our mission, a part of our everyday, and it also has to be global. And with colleagues just Ten days ago, I visited a school in the northern part of Queensland which was bringing literacy for the first time to indigenous Aboriginal community. And it was incredible to see what the opportunity is. So we collectively have to find sustainable ways of bringing education to our world. We know that we all have a long way to go. Here in the United States, I'm sure you'll all be shocked to know that the graduation rate from two-year colleges in this country this year is going to be below 30%. I think you'll be shocked to realize that the graduation rate across all four-year schools in this country this year is going to be around 60% graduating in six years. In other words, 40% crash and burn. And when we talk in this country about $1.3 billion of debt, it's not the image that we've got of the successful student who's completed their medical degree and is saddled with $100,000 of debt that we should be worried about, because in time they'll pay that back. The image we should have is of the student who has failed to get a degree, who is saddled with $5,000 of debt and can never pay it back. And it's to them that we feel so committed and so passionate and so precious that we have the opportunity to make a difference. So on behalf of my colleagues, I'm really flattered and honored to pick this up. 
and thank you very much to all of you. Have a good evening.